Hi, welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Um, Thomas Lamar, spoken about nearly every day. It's been the Benzema rumour of this summer. Um, Lamar, apparently now Arsenal, might go in with another bid, could make a fourth bid to try and get Thomas Lamar signed. Of course, Wenger on Friday or Thursday, I think it was, himself said that the deal is dead, that Monaco refusing to sell, so... There's no way they're going to be able to get a deal done for Lamar. But a lot of the uh, media reporting today that, listen, it's still on. Arsenal still trying to get this deal done. And they're still hopeful that they could get Lamar done before the transfer window shuts on the 31st of August. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. This rumour in today, um, Mesut Ozil being linked with a move to Borussia Dortmund. Now, whether this is a proper rumour or whether this is just all based off of a lot of speculation, putting two and two together. Uh, what the rumour is saying is that basically Borussia Dortmund, as we know, they are selling Usman Dembele to um, Barcelona. Brilliant player, by the way. They're selling to Barcelona. They're going to be getting about £130 million for that. So a lot of money um, Borussia Dortmund are going to have spare to spend and that they may use a chunk of that money to go and get Mesut Ozil from Arsenal and bring him back to Germany. Now, sounds a great rumour, easy to invent, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, whether it's true or not, I very much doubt it. But again, when you have a player that his contract is running down, this is the sort of rumour that was going to be flying around, you know what I mean? Because basically, he's vulnerable. Who's to say if Dortmund did come in with a whopping amount of money, it could be tempting to Arsenal. Um, I very much doubt this rumour is a proper rumour, um, but listen, it's out there today. Mesut Ozil being linked with a move away from Arsenal. Oxley chamberlain as we all know, um, has turned down a bid, t sorry, turned down an offer from Arsenal, said to be around about £150 million, being linked with Chelsea, being linked with Liverpool. Now, this, <laughs> again, this one made me laugh today, where um, supposedly Arsenal would not either not want to deal with Liverpool or we'll say to Liverpool, you can have him, but we want 40 million plus a pound still being bitter because of the whole Suarez thing. I, I don't, Listen, these papers make me laugh. I don't think there's any way that Arsenal would be saying to Liverpool 40 million plus a pound or 35 million plus a pound because of what happened with Suarez. Arsenal just don't operate in that way. They wouldn't be bitter in that way. But it was funny when I read it. But apparently Arsenal would rather sell him to Chelsea than give him to Liverpool. Why not keep him? You know, and what does it say about Arsenal? The fact that Oxley chamberlain has been offered a lot of money and still wants to go. What does that say? That says to me that he's looking at it and thinking, I could do better elsewhere. You know, I, I don't know. It's, it's, as I said, it's just a bit of a shambles our transfer dealings this summer. Um, a player that could be on his way out or looks like he's definitely on his way out is Kieran Gibbs. We know he's going to be moving this summer. Um, there's lots of rumours that a fee has been agreed and a deal has been agreed for £5 million with Watford. That is not a lot of money. I thought he'd go for more than that. We've been hearing rumours of um, Arsenal wanting at least £10 million for him. He could go for as little as £5 million to Watford. But it looks like Gibbs could be on his way. Um, what about Virgil van Dijk? If Mustafi does go, will we get van Dijk? There's still rumours flying around today that Arsenal could still be in for van Dijk. But again, I think a, a deal that will be very, very difficult to get done, if at all. If that's even if Arsenal wanted to spend that sort of money to get in um, a defender. It's the sort of play that would be brilliant at Arsenal. But would Arsenal do that? And uh, finally, Riyad Mahrez um, being linked with Arsenal again today. Now, again, based off of a lot of speculation, putting one and two together, in that the fact that at the moment, Leicester are in to try and get Andros Townsend from Crystal Palace. And if they get Townsend from Crystal Palace, then that means they may sell Mahrez. And if they sell Mahrez, one of the teams that might get Mahrez is Arsenal, because Arsenal might be selling Ox. Lots of speculation, lots of putting two and two together. Um, listen, I don't know. I can't see the Mahrez thing. Wenger has previously come out before and said he's not interested in signing Riyad Mahrez. So 
I can't see why they'd be interested in going back in now. Uh, not long to go now, just until Thursday of this week. That is when we'll find out if Arsenal bring anybody else in. Who will be going out? Will Mustafi still be here? Will Ozil still be here? Will Alexis still be here? Will Oxley chamberlain still be here? Will Gibbs still be here? Will Wilshire still be here? You, you, I think you get where I'm coming from with all this. Thanks for watching the show and we'll be back tomorrow.